Hello everybody and welcome to our video series on financial accounting, BAB 140. Today I want to cover chapter number one, the accounting information system. In chapters one and two, we introduce you to financial statements. The financial statements are the result of a process known as the accounting cycle. That is a systematic process to create accounting information. The accounting cycle consists of a number of steps ending with the preparation of financial statements. The accounting cycle begins with the analyzing, recording, and boasting of transactions, followed by preparation of trial balance. We will illustrate these first four steps in this chapter, and we will discuss the remaining steps, including the preparation of financial statements in chapter number four. So let's get started. Learning objectives. At the end of this chapter, you will be able to, one, analyze the effect of transaction on the accounting equation. Two, explain how accounts, debts, and credits are used to record transactions. Three, journalize transaction in the general journal. Four, post a transaction to general ledger. Five, prepare a trial balance. Learning objective number one, Analyze the effect of transactions on the accounting equation. Accounting information system. The system used to collect and process transaction data and communicate financial information to decision makers is known as the accounting information system. Accounting information systems can range from the basic to the complex. Factors that shape these systems include the type of business and its transactions, the size of the company, the amount of data, and the information that management and other needs. Many small businesses do not need a formal accounting system when they first begin. However, as a business and the number of and type of transaction grow, an organized accounting information system becomes essential. Steps in the recording process. Accounting information systems rely on a process called the accounting cycle. That is a series of steps used to account for and report transactions. The accounting cycle begins with the analysis of transactions and ends with the preparation of post-closing trial balance. The steps we're gonna cover this chapter are four. Step one, analyze each transaction to determine it is effect on accounts, if any. The source of the analysis comes from a source document. Step two, record a transaction as a journal entry in the general journal. Step three, transfer journal entries recorded to appropriate accounts in the general ledger. And step four, repair a trial balance. Accounting transactions. The first step in the accounting cycle is to analyze the transactions to determine their effect on the accounting equation. However, not all transactions that affect the company are recorded and reported. For example, suppose a new employee is hired. Should this transaction be recorded in the company's accounting records? The answer is no, for accounting purposes. An accounting transaction will not occur in this particular situation until the new employee has started work and earned his or her salary. In general, an accounting transaction occurs when economic event results in a company financial positions. Assets, liabilities, and or shareholders' equity changing in measurable way. In the case of the new employee described before, no asset, liability, or equity item is affected simply by the act of hiring the employee, even if the company signs an employment contract. This illustration provides example of selected other transactions that should or should not be recorded. B 
because transactions such as the purchase of computer or the payment of rent are economic events that affect the company's financial position in measurable amounts, they must be recorded in the accounting records. Discussing a matter with a potential customer may affect the company's future financial performance if they actually purchase goods or services. Until then, there is no effect on the company's current financial position and these events are not recorded. Step 1 of Accounting Cycle Analyzing Transactions All transactions or economic events should be analyzed to determine their impact on the accounting equation. The accounting equation is like that. Assets on the left side equal liabilities and shareholders equity on the right side. The accounting equation must always be in balance. Therefore, each transaction has dual or double-sided effect on the equation. Expanded accounting equation. Since shareholders equity is composed of common shares, which are one type of uh, shared capital in here, plus retained earnings. Further, retained earnings are equal to net income less any dividends declared. Net income, which is equal to revenues less expenses, increases retained earnings, or net loss decreases retained earnings. Also, dividends when declared are distribution of retained earnings to shareholders and result in a decrease to retained earnings. We have expanded the basic accounting equation we mentioned before to show the detailed components of shareholders' equity as you can see in this illustration. Analyzing transactions. Whether using the basic accounting equation or the expanded accounting equation, remember that the accounting equation must always be in balance. As a result, a recorded transaction will have at minimum a dual effect on the equation. For example, if individual assets is increased, there must be either a corresponding decrease in another asset and or increase in specific liability and or increase in common shares or revenues, either of which would result in increase in shareholders' equity. Discussion question number one. Identify an economic event that a. Is recorded in the accounting system. B. That is not recorded in the accounting system. Think about it. For the first one would be like salaries paid or computer purchased or payment of you know accounts payable for example. Example of B would be hiring a new employee or signing contract with a client. This is the end of part one from chapter number three.